What is up, obscure Mike people? Mark coming at you yet again with a toner. It's been a long time since I'd done a toner microphone, probably because I crapped on a USB mic they sent me and they never sent me anything else, nor have they offered to, nor have they reached out. But it's okay. I'll still give them a fair shake on this because I get it. It's fine. It's all fine. Fine, fine. No toner. 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 TC510. <sighs> toner TD510 USB XLR dynamic microphone. <laughs> Unintentional bandrew right there. Legit dropped it because there's stuff in the box. Let's show him the stuff, Bobby. Who's Bobby? So when you open that box, is there a you know what in that box, says Justin Timberlake? No, but there's some documentation. And when you open the documentation and you look around inside of the documentation, you don't really find much. You No frequency response, nothing like that. No surprise. Not surprised. XLR cable, that's always a welcome addition with any microphone. You get the USB A to C cable. Would have liked seen a C to C with an A adapter, but that's okay, toner. It's going to be fine. But then the star of the show, the toner TD 510. And let me just say this thing is heavy. Got some tactile pushy buttons there for the USB mode toner logo in gold. And it's dense, dense metal, good metal, USB C port, XLR port, headphone jack, and it's made in China. Now, when you take off the windscreen, you're going to see a completely straight shaft. That's what she said. Yes. And a gold, nice metal rim there. <laughs> That's also, nope. But then you got this. Don't take the windscreen off much because it's a little rough and it will chip away at it. There was some foam on the end of mine when I took it off the first time. And it does have an all metal half yoke with a metal tightening knob. No spin on the 5H threading though. That's a little disappointing. It's okay, I guess. It's a solid mic. Let's uh, get back to the video. All right, so I've got it in XLR mode right now, and it sounds pretty good. Uh, it also sounds somewhat familiar, but overall pretty good. And I tested this out on Discord with a Hab, Drunk Hab. What's up, Drunk Hab? Hab LeMay. I tested it out on there. Discord kind of squashed the sound of it, but it, it sounded familiar to me. And uh, I was like, what? what is this? What is this sound? This is something. I figured it out. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what this mic ultimately is or kind of is. Again, I'll explain more. And I will go in USB mode here shortly, but let's go ahead and get to the tests. Again, this thing is built extremely well. I think out of the box, it sounds pretty good. It's got a nice low end. It does have a very grading top end that would kind of get to me after some time, but by all means, this sound is definitely worth $59.99. Again, I'll explain more in the end, but I think it sounds pretty solid. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with this. The build quality is excellent. The windscreen, I'm sure, is going to block some plosives here in a second. And I just think overall it is a pleasing sound because it's a sound I've heard before. Again, I'll explain at the end. Let's go through the tests. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Now, the plosives would be better if the capsule wasn't shoved all the way at the end of this mic, like the Fi Fine and uh, maybe Mayo. No, I don't know if they did that too, but the capsule's all the way at the end. So you have, let me, let me move this. So you really don't have any, and you hear that grating right there. That's the foam getting tore up by that lip, mm. but there's no foam distance from capsule to foam. But now that I've pulled it off, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Does a little better. <laughs> At least Peter Piper picked a peck. Yeah, it does better. So uh, quit sticking the capsule at the very end of the grill companies on Amazon. Stop. There's no, I mean, the plosives should be better, but they're not because you just, the capsule's like right here. Let me tap on this mic. It is solid. It really is solid. Of course, you're going to hear something, but it's not a resonant sound. It's got like a powder coat finish as well. Just really solid. Now let's get right on top of the microphone so you can hear what it sounds like when you are directly on top of this microphone. And uh, again, sounds pretty good. It's not overly boomy, but it does get a lot deeper. And uh, I don't, I don't want it to be that deep. That's what she said. I just a little too deep. 
It hurts. My ears. Let's do some off-axis rejection, talking into the front of the microphone. Now we're 90 degrees off-axis. 180 degrees, 90 degrees, and back around to the front of the microphone. That is, uh, it's a lot noisier to the touch than I expected because it's, it's really solid metal. It's much better than the, uh, the thin microphonic metal. Yeah. Don't touch the mic. Like it's, you can kind of touch it, but don't rub it. That matte finish gives a lot of, uh, resistance. So you hear that coming through overall 59 99 again, stick around for more, but this is pretty good. It's pretty good. I was really excited when I got it out of the box because it looked fantastic. It felt fantastic in the hand. That's what she said. And it sounds good, a familiar good. Now we'll go to USB mode, but there is one disappointing thing about this mic. And it's only disappointing if you have a certain outlook on microphones of the Amazon variety. You could be a hundred percent fine with this and not be slightly aggravated. Like I am with what's coming more. Keep watching. Let's go into USB mode. We'll end it on USB mode as well. But again, 59 99, I don't really have any complaints so far. So let's go into USB mode. I've yet to test USB mode actually. So that's going to be very telling as far as what I got to tell you at the end. Well, there's no latency free monitoring, so that's a freaking bummer. Not sure why I'm still wearing the headphones, but that is aggravating. That sucks. Was not expecting that. So USB mode, not really usable. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to put some text in the description below as to how I feel about the sound in USB mode. I might have said XLR mode there, but you can toggle back and forth between headphones and uh, microphone volume by holding down the middle button that you saw earlier. And it, yeah, switches over like such. You can also press to mute. And uh, you got volume up and down, but it's cold in here, so I'll keep the headphones on. But what good is the headphone jack? I mean, you'll be able to hear people on the other end of stuff, but otherwise, bummer. I was really eager to hear it in USB mode and the mic that it's most like you can get monitoring with. And that's the F deuce SL 40, uh, check out this picture here. The capsule little yellow, different, same capsule as the F deuce SL 40 tactile buttons on this microphone, same as the F deuce SL 40. Uh, what I believe this microphone to be is uh, probably the internals of the F Deuce SL40 with a different shell. Could be wrong, could be completely different just with the same capsule. I mean, the build quality is great, so it very, very well could be exactly that. But the fact is, it's uh, it's got that same capsule. But it does maybe sound a little different, maybe. Either way, I don't have the SL40 anymore, so I can't really put that to the test. But if you were thinking about the SL40 or just want a good solid all around microphone for $59.99, can't really hate on this one too much. The price is fantastic. The sound is pretty good. It's not perfect by any means, but for podcasting and YouTubing, it's pretty good. Not to mention you can avoid that toner logo because it's only on one side. So depending on where you put your mic, you know, you don't have to display that gold toner logo. And I did just that, not displaying it. On the BBSAR, I'm going to be quick about this. I kind of can't hate on $59.99. I'm going to have to give it a seven. I think it's a pretty solid buy. It's not perfect by any means. It is probably a copy in some ways to the SL40. I can't completely say it's, you know, one for one copy because this is definitely better built, but it's got that capsule. And I use that capsule in a Depu Shang copper mic video as well. And it also has that sound to it, but. This is my favorite of the ones that use that yellow capsule. I can't hate on it too much, but just know that you're not getting a, a, a super original mic. You're not getting like a custom capsule. You can get this capsule on AliExpress. I'll try to find it and post the link below. This is what it is. $59.99 XLR cable, you know, yoke mount, solid build. It's a solid mic. I mean, again, no hate here. I was just a little disappointed to see that the capsule wasn't at least somewhat original looking. They could have fooled me if it was like, maybe a pink capsule or a red capsule that looked like that, but it was yellow and I knew exactly what it was from the get go. That's okay though. 59 99. 
Uh, this one, if you want it, holler at me. I'm not going to keep it. I wanted to review it. People have been asking. So here it is. Obscure Mics. Peace out.